All right, come on in. Hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. But most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for 2024 fantasy small budget film. I want to be very clear, small budget film called Hellboy the Cricket Man. Here's the plot. Hellboy and a rookie BPRD agent find themselves stranded in... The 1950s rural Apocalypse Mountains. Uh, they soon discover a community of witches led by a local devil who has connections to Hellboy's past. Now, here's some of the cast. Well, this was definitely creepy and dark like you would want from a true Hellboy film. And the level of creepiness was its strong suit along with the amount of practical effects that was used. And honestly, that was the main reason I kept watching because I don't understand what the story was fully because there was barely anything. Now, I never read the comics, but I know that this is, uh, from what I saw on Google, they went by a lot of uh, paint-by-numbers type of thing with, with, uh, with the com certain scenes, certain parts of the comic books. Um, the writing in here is, it's definitely its downfall. Okay? Um, the creepiness is, 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 heavy it's great the the editing of of uh of kind of a uh, making you kind of nauseous type of look to it uh the practical effects of um the whole floating and stuff with you know the, the wires of how they did they really did a really good job you couldn't at least i couldn't tell on my 4k tv on my huge one that it you could you couldn't tell that the, there was a new wire. Sometimes they do that, do this stuff, and you can technically slightly see it if you look through close, but not in this, in my personal opinion. And it was really cool when they when they did them. Um, now everyone was crapping on the look of the Hellboy character. He looked fine to me personally, but then again, this is a small budget film of twenty million dollars, which in today's time is considered a small budget film now if this was in the early 2000s or maybe not late 90s okay you got me there it's not a, a, a small budget but today in today's times it is definitely a small budget and i'm not going to try to go to rant on this but people expect way too much of a high expectations with with film with literally everything it's a 20 million small budget film they actually did a good job for what this, what they they had uh, available to them um, when it came to the practical effects of the Hellboy. Now, w do I have a personal issue with how the combination of the look of the face and the combination of the look of the actor and then the actor's acting? Yeah, I do. But the practical effects of the horns, the the arms and stuff. I think it actually looks really good. To be honest, and this is going to irk a lot of people, I think he looks a lot better than that guy, than the last reboot they did. And this is not really a reboot, this is a small budget film, but it was, it, the costume design looks so much better than wherever the hell that ugly thing was, and I'll put it up here, uh, it was played by something Harper or something from the guy from Stranger Things, which I like him. But the, 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 well, how they made them, it, just, it looked really hideous and I didn't like it. Unfortunately, despite the stuff I really did like about the film, it was unfortunately underwhelming. I, and I went in with low expectations, like I said, because I saw the budget. And I want to be that clear. The budget is, is, when it comes to the practical stuff and all that stuff, they actually did a really good job. It's the writing for me that is the issue. Because there's barely anything. And that including, again, that includes the characters writing. 
which was it's is is kind of uh, all over the place, and they kind of went away from Hellboy as to more of a side character, and then there was this other person, or you know, like the two other people that they, they went around. Now they did have side characters like the witches and and stuff that were really cool. Um, did a really good job of the creepiness to it. Um, the crooked man in general, the aka devil, uh, you know, he, he looks really good. It's just not, you know, uh, they did a really good job of blending everything together. But he, I don't know, he kind of came off like a early 2000s, maybe late 90s leprechaun, you know, the leprechaun type of look to him. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, is, it is what it is. Here is my honest writing, though. Again, it came down to the writing. This could have actually been a really good budget film uh, compared to all the ones that I've seen. Uh, you know, there's definitely there's different levels of, of quality, and this had very high quality to it. In my personal opinion, for a $20 million film. But the writing is the downfall of this film. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is is unfortunately i have no control over it and you have no control over it but i also again i think people were overreacting as they tend to do and this is the hellboy fan base which by the way i am a hellboy fan base but i never read the comics so i'm not technically a true true according to fans but who gives a shit um because they're toxic but yeah so it again it could have been a, a so much of a good film if the writing of the story and the characters were a lot more better and they focused some more of that than just the practical facts and the 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 mostly the the atmosphere of the thing which again good job but focus on writing guys come on um but yeah so as always leave your comments down below i'm probably gonna regret that but you know go ahead I'll read them either way. Um, but yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull. So...